Waking dreams. These dreams woke up at last, and now they can never seem to rest again. They toss and they mumble fitfully throughout my long and mindless working hours. I see them fumbling in their pockets for loose change in long gray lines, the alien light of our world creating the strange discolorations of their faces. You get used to not looking right at them, or else they will quickly fade away. Their faulty assumptions collapsing beneath the fairy tale castles of their logic. These dreams awaken, stubbled and grimy, having voluntarily left their kingdom. They fill me briefly with their uneasiness as they are passing right on through me. They walk the land alone, dissolving soundlessly without leaving any footprints. I watch them fade like old Tibetan prayer flags just after they emerge fully formed upon my way. They leave no trace except the faint and dissolving memories of their passing. Some are so sublime as to be nearly undetectable by the unconscious mind. Sometimes I pray to mistake gruesome reality for their phantasmal influences. Given off as I walk, they disperse in an illogical, ever-thinning aerosol. Waking dreams, trying to tell me how much I need some simple, restful sleep. Their seamless reality, at least as attractive as our collective conscious hypnosis. There must be more to them than what so simply just fades from my grasp. Experienced as reality, dismissed as foolishness, yet somehow deeply symbolic. Tossed into pens and forced to struggle against each other for supremacy, they woke me up again in uncertainty, merely with their deep and utter nonsense. These awaking dreams have not yet reached a full consciousness, nonetheless. These cast out and wandering souls sometimes awaken me in rich tears. We do not speak to each other, but I wonder if they observe me as I do them. Sometimes when I come to, I'm laughing with echoes of their beautiful music still in my mind. Often do I wish to experience their version of reality as more than a mere spectator. Waking dreams trying to shake and rouse themselves from the depths of the everyday. Began to cry as one of them impinged upon the terrible vacuum of my empty life. Just had to reply as they masqueraded as those I had known and loved so long ago. Their parallel universe inextricably bound to our collective stream of unconsciousness. I could not elude them or escape them, for they awoke with me as I fled before them. I might still be thinking, even as I talked to them, over their music, all in living color. Happily, as I grow older, it becomes less clear when they have overtaken me once again.